you know, I'm saying this is a quick question, but it's really going to be about six people, all of the co-conspirators that were not indicted uh, and not named, but the uh, press figured it out, all of them uh, on the Trump uh, <laughs> insurrection. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. But if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So I think we can just go right down the list and see, you know, who's going to be in trouble. You know, there's Rudy Giuliani. We all know who he is. So that's the, it, what a shame. I mean, he he was the, the world's mayor, they, they called him at one time, because he really came through on 9-11. But where he, how he lost his senses, um is just in, 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 impossible to imagine. So there's Rudy Giuliani. They figure out he's number one. Then number two, John Eastman, that's that law professor who was helping come up with this insane scheme uh, to that Pence uh, could, uh, you know, stop everything. Sidney Powell, of course, was just, she thought, I think she thought she was going to get named special counsel for something and even believed that she actually was named a special counsel for a period of a day or a week. Uh, and because Trump said it. And so that was enough for them. Then there's a uh, Jeffrey Clark. So he's the DOJ attorney for like environmental situations that wanted to be attorney general and was willing to do and say anything to get the job. Uh, Kenneth Chesbro, and which is so funny because he's from Wisconsin. So I thought it was Cheesebro for the longest time. It was apparently it's Chesbro. He's an attorney and he was in the false electors uh, scam, uh, you know, contacting those folks or maybe writing the letter that all the states ended up using, something like that. But he was in collaboration. Now, these, are, these two are kind of number five together. Uh, James uh, Trupas, who is also an attorney, and he kind of came up with that fake elector idea, apparently. So him and Chesbro got together on that. So apparently they're thinking they're both or either one number five. And then number six, finally, is Michael Roman, whom we never heard of. Apparently he's an aide of the Trump campaign. He was director of election election day operations. So how he got into it, I don't know. But those are the names that the press has come up as the co-conspirators in the Trump uh, situation. So I think we'll just do real quick. Um, we'll go through them, give them one, two or three cards each. Rudy Giuliani, he's been out there enough. So I'm gonna say, Rudy, let's shuffle these cards for everybody. I wanna shuffle these cards for Rudy, for John, for Sydney, for Jeffrey, for Kenneth, for James, and for Michael. And uh, so that's what we'll do. And we'll take the cards from there. So three cards for Rudy Giuliani. One, two, and if you haven't subscribed, now's a good time to subscribe, by the way. And then three. So I'm going to leave these cards here. I mean, I might tidy them up, but I'm not going to reshuffle them. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll play these out for these guys. So Rudy Giuliani, is he going to, is he going to be, is he going to go to trial on this specifically? Moving out of troubled water. That's good for him. Next card, ah, on a new journey. And then the third card, ah, yeah. So this is illusion and delusion. So yeah, he's going to keep himself out of trouble by starting on a new journey of telling the truth to the government. And, um, at the same time, trying to create some illusion and delusion in the real world about what he's actually saying behind the scenes, which is in fact what he started doing already. So uh, Rudy Giuliani, he's going to cooperate. So that's going to help him out. Uh, let's put these aside and we'll keep on going. So now we got John Eastman, the law professor. What can the cards tell us about him? One, two, three. So he's the one. He's an attorney, but he's a law professor primarily. Second uh, co-conspirator that they thought it might be him. Okay, so he's the hermit. So he's looking for a way out, even as we speak. He's got a plan. He's not ready to move on it. He's still trying to see uh, where, um, how he can maneuver this. 
Um, oh, look, he's being offered a great big something of enormous value. So he's being offered to uh, work out of this co-conspirator situation, and it's going to be heartbreak. Wow. I think what's going to happen with him is he's going to think that he's smart enough to, to maneuver out of this, take their offer, but still not... Um, say everything he's supposed to say and that's going to end up being his heartbreak so and john eastman he's going to think he's smarter uh than the deal he negotiates with um jack smith okay sydney powell three cards one two three remember she's the attorney who was going on tv and saying that hugo chavez and the italians had gotten together well hugo chavez had been dead for five six seven eight years already and if you don't know who he is he was the President of Venezuela who overtook the country and ruined their economy completely. And now it's uh, his appointee who was a bus driver, <laughs> Nicolas Maduro, is the president of uh, Venezuela. Okay, so now this is Sidney Powell. What about her? Okay, short-term plan. Looking into the future. That's interesting. Sidney Powell. Uh, oh, it's a disaster still. And the final card, the Queen of Cups. So she's going to get some sort of compassion. All right. So she, again, is one of the attorneys who's trying to, you know, look into the future to see how she can maneuver this. What, what she tries is just not going to work. But in the end, she will be shown some compassion. So she may get a lighter uh, punishment than maybe otherwise. Jeffrey Clark. Okay, so he's the guy who was in, uh, worked for the Department of Justice in the Department of Environmental Situations, uh, and um, but he wanted to be Attorney General, and he would do anything Trump wanted. Uh, okay, so this was okay. This is the Five of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Five of Wands is like pointless conflict or conflict in general. Uh, the Knight of Wands is coming in with a plan to save the day. And who are we talking about now? Jeffrey Clark. And then this is Abba ah, feeling left out in the cold. Interesting. So Jeffrey Clark is the guy that wanted to be Attorney General. The situation for him is going to be there's lots of conflict and arguing. Um, there is a Knight of Wands who comes in with a plan, but it still leaves him um, out in the cold. So I guess the Department of Justice is going to make him an offer. And somehow either he doesn't take the offer or it's not enough to keep him out of as much trouble as he thought he'd be in. Now, Kenneth Chesbro combined with James Troopas, these are attorneys who were involved in the false elector uh, scheme uh, with all the states saying these are the actual electors and the people that you have uh, on your roster, uh, Congress, are not the ones that the people want to be electors. So they're trying to just, in effect, take the vote of every the vote of everyone in their state or their district, I guess it was state, and to say your votes don't count because these are the people we want to be the electors because they're going to vote the way we want them, us, we want them to vote. So that was uh, Chesbro and Troopas. So what's going to happen there? So, ah, King of Swords. So Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, and this is the King. No mercy. Next one is, oh, it's a nightmare. And then the third one, Okay, in the end, there will be... Okay, so truth, justice, rules, and law will reign. It will be a total nightmare for these two. But also, in fact, justice will show some sort of compassion on that sentence. So I think it just means it won't be as bad as possibly it could have been. And then finally, Michael Roman, who's just an aide and the director of Election, election Day Ops. Michael Roman, who's an aide and the director of Election Day Ops. So he sounds like way down the chain. Uh, so let's see what we get for this fellow. Building something together for public display. Oh my goodness. So the Department of Justice, um, Jack Smith, wants to work with him to get uh, testimony out and start this tr trip. Up, I'm look, I have the notes in front of me um, is why I keep pointing that way. I've got the, the people's names in front of me. Okay, so for the last one, Michael Roman, the aide, the director of Election Day Ops. So building for public display, a great big offer is coming through for him. That's wands. And then the Empress is the all nurturing, loving yes. So yeah, if he plays his cards right, you know, they will he will cooperate with them. There'll be a great big offer and um, and it will be very much in his favor to do that. So that's what I get for those six unindicted co-conspirators.